Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like to share with you how I make my miniature pine trees. So to make the tree, I've got natural, natural rope. And I'm going to just split it apart to get a few strands. Now I don't need the trees to be very, very large, so I'm only going to be using probably four centimeters of this rope and I'm just cut that off. And now what you're going to do is pull it all apart and then tease it all out. So there's one, two, there's four strips and on each strip I've got another two strips. So what you do is just tease them all out so there are all your pieces all separated. Then hold on to that and now we're going to put it into our wires. I'm going to make my little trees. So you know I picked this piece of wire up, I don't actually know what kind of wire it is, but it's got really really nice thin wires inside it, as you can see. There's heaps of tiny, tiny wires. Anyway, what you do is you strip the wire. I'm just using the utility knife to just strip all the wire. And then once I've got a bit out, then I'm just going to pull the black part. And you're left with these. Really thin wire strips. So I've found all the wires out now. So you can see this one's got so many wires inside this small cable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these strips and then cut them off and I'm going to use those two to make my tree. So once you cut the wires off, you've got your two wires like that, all you do is thread them into the front of your chuck and tighten it so that your wires are sticking out like that. Now what we're going to do is Take those little pieces of rope that we separated. If you can try and get it in the middle, that's great. I try and do them in small pieces at a time. So we've got a little piece like of rope, which is like that. And then put your drill on. Once you reach the wires, move your fingers a little bit farther apart. And then let the drill wind all the twine together. And then move on and add extra. And just keep going until you think you've got the length that you need. So when you've added your pieces together, you get something that looks like that. I like to do them in big strips like this so that I want to cut them down. I know it's a bit of wastage, but I mean, you could just use, if you wanted big ones, you could use that because I want lots of little ones. And then I'm going to just shape them into the shape that I want them. So now because my trees are really, really small, this is what they look like once I've trimmed them down and then I'm going to paint them all. To paint my little trees I've got a green, the apple green and I've got a different variation of a hooker green and all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of each colour paint with a little bit of water so it's a little bit more runny. To paint the little trees I've got a pair of tweezers because they're so small. I'm just going to hold them in the tweezers like as you can see they're really tiny and just take my paintbrush and just dab as you can see the paint is rather runny and then just paint all the little trees if you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.